never know me. <laughs> Frederick, are you already <laughs> eating the tiramisu, Vincenzo? Tiramisu time. Oh, yes. This is my favorite, favorite dessert on the planet. I am uh, welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. You guys know me by now, and you know how <laughs> much I love tiramisu. If you don't know me by now, <laughs> you haven't been following Vincenzo's play enough. properly now. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I love this recipe. It's a perfect recipe to cheer you up. In fact, tiramisu means cheer me up. Before I start, I want to tell you we are, we are a few minutes late <laughs> because I spilled coffee everywhere. <laughs> As you know, I'm famous for spilling things. If you watch my Panzerotti recipe two weeks ago, I spilled milk everywhere. Today I spilled coffee everywhere. <laughs> I'm in trouble because when is pregnant, she can't drink coffee and she's very upset with me because the house smells, smells of like coffee. coffee. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Suzanne. I already can't eat your tiramisu today. <laughs> I oh, know, we're gonna give it to Filomena next door. Filomena, if you're watching, the tiramisu is coming to your place. <gasps> She's so lucky. Yeah, so I wanna, before we start, this is a book, a book my mom wrote to me when I was 20, when I actually moved to England. When I was 20, I moved to London, and she created this book, which, oh, well, that's a message from YouTube. See you, hello. <laughs> that's, not, that's not from mom. No, that's from my mom. Okay, let me clean it up a little bit. Um, so this is full of recipes, guys, like full of Italian recipes, okay? These are recipes from the 80s, from the 90s. Honestly, there are so many. Um, so in this book, let me remove this. In this book, mom wrote to me how to wash denim, <laughs> how to wash my shirts. So that you know, the first time I did my load of washing, all my clothes shrunk. So I put a jumper on and it was this big. Like, because you, yeah, it's like, cause you moved to London when you were young. I moved to yeah. London. I didn't know how to cook, didn't know how to clean, I didn't know how to wash. I washed all my clothes at the highest temperature and clothes changed color, shrunk. Anyway, I was a mess. See, she told me how to do rigatoni alla ricotta, rigatoni alla scampi, carbonara, you know, all simple ingredients. Pizza. And then here we have the tiramisu. So every time I make tiramisu, every single time since the first time, I have this book open next to me. You can see all the coffee stains. It looks great. It is coffee, yeah. And I feel like this is my mom next to me. So I always have the book open right next to me. And I will do this forever. It doesn't matter how many times I've done tiramisu, okay? I keep it there. See, my mom, the writing, she tells me. Make sure nothing falls end, into the, the coffee. End, she tells me, oh, enjoy it. Um... I love you, I miss you, and I love this book. So, okay, I just want to let you know. I did change a couple of things, I have to say, uh, with my recipes. Over time, I always, yeah. always change something, but pretty, it's pretty much the same, okay? So this book says here. Okay, thank you, mom, for being with me. Ingredients for tiramisu, okay? Very simple. We have Savoyardi. These are Italian Savoyardi biscuits, okay? How is everyone? Is everyone watching? Everyone's we watching. Instagram, we have YouTube, we have Facebook. Please write any comments, any questions. We've got, I answer to you. Okay, got, I want questions related to tiramisu or to anything. We've got friends from Greece, Ireland, Canada, Pittsburgh. Right. And Frederick is watching from Switzerland. And Frederick, Frederick is watching from Switzerland. It's almost, uh, two, but he said he wants to eat some, so you can't eat it all. All right, okay, mm -hmm. ingredients. Savoyardi. And I've got, uh, so I'm only making Let's go from there. I'm making a small portion. Suzanne and I am not having tiramisu. Suzanne, I'm sure you'll have a couple have... of bites later. I'm not in front of you. I can't do this. <laughs> so I'm delivering this to Filomena. This is a portion of Pyrex for about four people or maybe six people. Or maybe you know? Vincenzo's breakfast. <laughs> yeah. So I'm making small, small portion, just two eggs. My mom recipe is for a large Pyrex and this is for a family pack. You know, like this, you can do, <laughs> you can do for... eight, 10, 12 slices, even more. I, I've done even 15 slices with these pieces. So if we are making this, I'll give you the, the measurements after. I'll give you the measurement now for the small one. Okay, Suzanne? Okay. 
All right, so we're doing small one. Alyssa oh, said, oh, this oh. is tiramisu is my favorite. I'm eating it now for brunch. Let's make it together. Come on, Alyssa. Oh, thanks. Sabrina sent 100 stars. Sabrina. Oh, yeah, you just have read about the stars. Oh, guys, yeah, on your face. Yeah, now, it, it helps Facebook support you. Yeah, you, if you give me stars, you support me and Facebook supports me. I don't understand if they pay for stars. No, they don't pay. The, the followers don't pay, but then it helps to tell Facebook that they really like you and want more of your content, and then Facebook will reward you. Oh, wow. So I, don't, please, I don't Just think... give me stars. <laughs> lots Facebook. and lots of stars. Come on, Facebook. You don't have to do anything. Just give me the star, and I get paid. Yes, yeah, so there's a little star down below um, next to the comment bar. You'll see a star if you just press that and put how many stars so you want. You can Facebook, send it to us. Just Instagram, Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, no, yeah, but YouTube can donate too. Now, Savoyardi, I've got half packet because it's enough. Otherwise, just buy a large pack. And um, then we have coffee. Here I made coffee. I made two of these. This is the percolators we use, the Italian percolators. So I made two of la two of these and two of these, okay? And that's how much coffee I got. Perfect. And you can use a coffee machine. Don't ask me how much, okay? This is probably what, three cups, two cups? Oh, it's yeah. Um, it's... But make enough. Well, we did a large percolator and a small one. And then we're using two eggs, okay? What are the eggs on here? <laughs> two fresh <laughs> organic eggs. These are top quality eggs, of course. Thanks, Brian. Brian two. sent 100 stars. Oh, wow, Brian. Thank you, Brian. You're a star, my friend. Two. Is it Brian from uh, my friend, Brian from the market? Brian Roman. Oh, Brian Roman from Chicago. Oh, yeah. my friend. Here we have two eggs, okay? Then we have two spoons of white oh, sugar. You're very organized this morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two, this must be the coffee. <laughs> two spoons of, wi of white sugar. Then we use, you can use any chocolate you like. We have milk and um, eggs on it. Yeah, it? because it's, it's so nice. delicious when you've got a little, if you don't have any nut allergies, it's delicious when there's a little yeah, bit of nut in there. It extra, adds extra crunch. I normally go with dark chocolate and bath. But I love that and one. And then here we Even have some cocoa, okay? We've got <laughs> some cocoa over here. Very simple ingredients. That's for a small one, okay? And then we have, of course, mascarpone, the most important ingredient. Sorry, I didn't show you. Mascarpone. I've got half tub, which is 250 grams, the small tub. And that's the most important ingredient, mascarpone. Thanks, if Lisa. You, she if sent you are stars. going to make, okay, well, thank you for Lisa for the stars. Thank you for sending stars, Facebook. <laughs> if you're making the lunch, the recipe is this: five eggs, big tub of mascarpone, so 500 grams, and three spoons of sugar. Okay, makes sense, Jose? Makes sense. So, small portion. We use two sugar, half tub of mascarpone, and two eggs. Large portion, five eggs, large tub of mascarpone, three sugar. Simple. Now, let's start, Suzanne. Okay. We start from the eggs, Suzanne. So what we do... Okay, let me just get the bowls in the shot. What we do is we are going to break... Actually, very small eggs. So they should be very good. So what we do, we separate the white with the yolk. Very simple. Look at that. Do that. See? Simple. So white is there. Yolk is there. I have to be honest with you, the, if you make a smaller portion like I'm doing now, it's more difficult than making a large because it's more difficult to create a cream with, a, with only two eggs. Much easier when you use five eggs. Now, for everyone who is worried about raw eggs, people say, oh, salmonella. Guys, let me tell you, People have been eating these recipes for many, 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 it's many years. It's just important that you use organic eggs. That's the number one rule. Use organic eggs and you can't go wrong. That's right. They have to be fresh. Don't use eggs that you've had sitting in the fridge for three weeks. No, no, no. No, fresh. and don't leave the tiramisu once you've made it out of the fridge. I mean, it's just common sense. I wash my hands. I always wash your hands when you touch the, when you touch the eggs. The egg? Now, uh, these, these eggs are from yesterday. Super fresh, super organic and never made anyone sick or someone else, okay? Never. What we need to do now, we are going to put one uh, spoon of sugar here. So one spoonful in the... Actually, one I'm going to put it just in there. See, I always change something. What I'm going to do today, because I only have two eggs, I concentrate on the egg, on, on the, on on the, the yolk, yolk. Okay? okay. So what we do, I think you have to come here down, it doesn't get there. Oh, okay, just one Orange. second. So we need to do this for a couple of minutes until we, until this, becomes fluffy okay very fluffy you ready okay take a couple of minutes now
We'll see. So you put it on a high speed. As long as slowly I get that. Now I'm on number five. I don't want to stress it too much. But okay. soon I will go very fast. You, you watch. Look at this. Napa Valley Ray. We're making tiramisu today. Oh, make it together with me. Yay. Look, guys, because we're in isolation, I'm making small batch, okay? But if we were having family coming over, just go for the large batch. I've got the recipes on vincenzosplate.com, okay? Yeah. Both recipes are dead. Small portion, large portion. Keep going, keep going. in a glass. Sorry. Make it nice and fluffy. Oh, yeah. This will take a little bit of that. Okay. Now let's go up. Number nine, oh yeah, the Ferrari, the engine. No, no, I don't want your feet. Okay, look at that. Look how thick this is. How do you tell if you did a good job? Well, well you got to see look, if the peak. It doesn't move. Look, moves a little bit. But yeah, but this is the back moves. See, there's That's no fine. liquid in there. There's no. Yeah, it's perfect. Liquid. Look at that. Look how creamy it is. Looks great. Now let's do the other one. Okay. All right, I'm staying here. Yeah. Oh, Mark, we're making tiramisu. He just joined us. He said, "What are you making?" Hello, Mark. Tiramisu time. Again, start slowly. So this has two tablespoons of sugar and two egg yolks. No, yeah, two yeah, egg yolks. Two egg yolks. inside yeah So no, um, sweet. Nice and creamy, see? So the, um, we're using store-bought mascarpone today, not not homemade today. No, I didn't make, actually, I've never made mascarpone before. Hmm, we should try and make it. Yeah, we should try and try. I've never made it before, to be honest. It's just so easy to buy it, but yeah, I should make it myself. Mm. Now, Whoop. get the mascarpone. Can you see Suzanne there? Mm-hmm. Sure can. Now, I just want to add the mascarpone inside. This is a mascarpone from Italy. Never go wrong with Italian mascarpone. We're only going to add the mascarpone in the egg yolk. Look at that! I'm so science. <laughs> yes, Amal, we can make mus you can make mascarpone at home, but we haven't actually made it before. We will um, we will have to trial it. I never. How much egg white did you use? Okay, Cindy. So basically, we. I'm making a really small batch today, so we only used two eggs for the whole recipe. So that means two egg whites into one bowl, two egg yolks into the other bowl, and two tablespoons of sugar. The recipe's in the link, guys. The recipe's in the link, but the recipe in the link is a larger version. No, like no, it's a, a small one. Oh, it's a in small one. In the description, one. I've got the same recipe I'm doing now. Come here, Perfect. come here. Now we have to do this. In the description, you find the link that shows you 
how to make the razor bit. Yeah, All right, guys. Slowly, very slowly. Don't stress it. Mix it together. No, Patrizio, you're thing. right. Absolutely no ricotta in tiramisu. We no, don't no. use ricotta. No ricotta in tiramisu. No, no, no. Look how thick this is. It's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Sweet Chick makes it with ricotta. Her mum makes it all the time. Oh, well, she's making it with homemade ricotta. That sounds well, divine. That's different. That sounds perfect. Oh, look how easy this is. Look how easy this is. I mix it together now. Look how creamy this is, isn't it? Yeah, it looks divine. Actually, I can eat this right now and I'll show you. Can you I'm show not, Oh, maybe show sick. us after look with the that. spatula? I'm going to make anyone sick, this one. Here is a spatula. Look. Yeah, um, look wait a sec because I just need to get all the screens in. There look we go. Look Beautiful. It looks look like um, fresh ice cream. <laughs> Actually, I can when eat you do this it like right that. now, to be honest. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. So, what we do now, guys, this is the important, this is the important part. <laughs> This is the base of the tiramisu. What we do now... Are you mixing them? We're going to add the white. One white. second. Let me just get back into position I'm for everybody. Position. Go for it. Adding the white in there. Oh, did you hear that nice, um, nice. bounce? And we don't want to stress the white, so we just mix it gently. Just like this. So you kind of fold it through. Oh, no, you mix it a fold little bit. It, yeah. Yeah, you no, you have to mix it, yeah, but fold, yeah. Just be very gentle. You have to make love with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And no pineapple in tiramisu, Frederick. <laughs> no, no pineapple in the... Actually, actually, no. actually, you no, can it. make pineapple tiramisu. It's not illegal. It's actually legal. And pineapple tiramisu... But it's a different recipe. It's a different recipe. You don't use coffee, of course. You use pineapple juice. It's actually very nice. I've tried it once. And pineapple tiramisu, it is a must. You must try it. It's very nice. I think you could, the nice thing about tiramisu is um, the traditional is always best with the coffee, but you can substitute different ingredients and add fruits to that's it. That's right. Um, my favorite is a mango version that Vincenzo created, and that's not with coffee. It's got no. chocolate and mango juice and mango or mango juice. nectar, like yeah. fresh, beautiful mango juice. Look at the cream. See, that's our cream, guys. This is the most important part of the recipe. Look at that. See, that's the cream that you need for each layer. Now the fun starts. This is the fun part now. Are you guys ready? We have fun with me. Hello from Buffalo. Love you too, Joanne. Hello, <laughs> Buffalo. Let me can you move you. the coffee closer to you so we can all see? Yes. Thank you. I don't want to make my mum's book dirty. <laughs> it's beautiful because it's dirty. got the coffee stains on it. So here, can you see the coffee in there? Um, yes, I can. Let me get everything ready. I'm also not very perfect. You said I was organized. I was not really organized. Well, you've got here all of the ingredients. Cocoa. <laughs> okay, cocoa is here. Very important. Chocolate is here. Biscuits are here. So what I do before I actually I recommend you to use gloves. If you guys have gloves, it's better. So you don't make your hands dirty. Unless you love coffee. I left the gloves in the car and I'm lazy to go to the car now. So I've got this here. You ready? We're ready. So if you know me, what is my favorite dessert on the planet? Come on, let's know, let's see if you know. What is my favorite dessert? I'll give you a hint. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> now, this is very important. I get three biscuits at a time, or you can do one at a time. And what I do, this is what I do, guys. This is how important it is. Three seconds maximum. Three seconds. The coffee must be cold. No way you use a hot coffee. If you use a hot, the biscuit will be ruined. Okay, so cold coffee. One, two, three. Easy, see? So a quick three seconds. Quick three seconds, yeah, actually, yeah, less than three seconds. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, and what I do, the biscuits come with a bottom, with the sugar. See, they've got the sugar at the bottom, and then that's the top part, I call it. So I put the sugar always facing the bottom, because that's the harder part. One, two, three. Oops. That's harder, <laughs> and I think it's... The coffee doesn't get out from it. If you put this in th this way, this top part is softer and the coffee has a way to escape. You know what I mean? Makes sense what I'm saying? Yeah. But again, one, two, Whoa, three. that was a triple one. Triple one. I have big hands. The caffeine will rejuvenate your skin. You're right, Beth. <laughs> Beth Ben, she's <laughs> right. right. Beth. It's actually really good for your skin. Okay, now we need to close the gap. One, two, three. Very important. We close the gaps, guys. Always close your gaps here. It's okay if you put one on top of each other. I've got space for one more there. So one, two, three. 
These are small ones, Suzanne. Yeah, that's okay. These are small it's a nice little but... treat. It is. Let me wash my, my hands. My nonna used to make me a pistachio tiramisu. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. We tried that last Lisa, year. that sounds delicious. We, we tried it last we year at the Embryo restaurant in Sydney. We that did. was sensational. But we need to get pistachio. the recipe for it. Please send me the recipe. Uh, yeah, eat, Lisa, uh, send the recipe. Go to the email, eat at vincenzosplate.com. So that's E A T at vincenzosplate.com, Lisa. Please. We would love the recipe and love to be able to recreate it and dedicate it to your beautiful nonna and your family. All right, this is what we do now. Look, we got the cream, put the cream inside. Look how nice. Look how nice. Spread it. I've got enough cream to cover the top, okay? The top. Needs to be nice and colored. Can you see from there, Suzanne, how creamy it is? Um, yep. Can you just move it forward a little bit, like towards me? Thanks. Yeah. That's better. Thank Look you. Look how creamy this tiramisu is. When is Bubs due, Sue? Mark, Bubs is due on August the 3rd. <laughs> so not long now. We had an ultrasound yesterday, so got to see Bub. So that was nice. It's kicking a lot, the baby. It is kicking a lot. I think it's having a dance in there. Hey guys, on Thursday, this time on Thursday, which is Wednesday night in uh, America and Canada, we're in Australia, don't forget, Suzanne is doing gnocchi. For the first time ever, Suzanne will be on camera by herself. No, you're doing going gnocchi. to be with me. I will be recording and Suzanne is showing her to do gnocchi like nonna. She is the master of gnocchi. She is continuing the tradition in the family. She's the gnocchi queen and she will be live on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram this time on Thursday, which is Wednesday night for you guys overseas. Can you believe it? I know, I'm so nervous. Don't miss it. Now, Suzanne, here I Hi, the Jill. Cream. We're making um, tiramisu today. Jill from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hello, Jill. Jill, our favorite travel agent in America. Okay, guys, look at this. Cream, cough, uh, cough sorry, um, cocoa, cocoa? cocoa powder. So just a teaspoon of, or another teaspoon of cocoa powder. And I know what I'm saying now, it's illegal, but when I grow up, I always ask my mom to put Nesquik in <laughs> Because Nesquik, it's what I love Nesquik. I still eat every Nesquik for breakfast. Not every day. You so know. if you want. Yeah, special occasion. No, not special occasion, yeah. <laughs> you can put Nesquik if you want. I know it's illegal for many people, but hey, I grew up eating Nesquik. And I, love, I love Nesquik. <laughs> awesome. Hope it comes late and comes on the 13th. Why does it, why does it have to come on the 13th? Ooh, the I don't want it to come late. No, 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 not late. <laughs> so here I've got the, that. And then we put a little bit of... Uh, Chocolate. Grated chocolate. Grated chocolate. Oh, Maria asked, is that just cream or mascarpone? She just joined. It's mascarpone mixed with eggs. And like I said before, you don't get salmonella. I use organic mm -hmm. eggs. We mix them very, very well. There is no salmonella in this, guys. So you we... might have been eating this for many, many years and nothing happens to you. Yeah, let's make so, more. So it's made One, with two, um, sugar as well. So you, sugar, you separate yes. the egg yolks um, from the whites in two separate bowls and add um, you add one sorry two tablespoons of sugar to the egg yolk and you don't need to add any to the egg white. No. You whisk them up nicely and then mix them. Yeah, yes, cool. Cindy, this particular cocoa is unsweetened. You can also use sweetened or other varieties like Vincenzo said. Um, but... We have used unsweetened cocoa today. On my birthday. Oh, wow, Mark. That's so funny. So that's why Mark said the 13th, because that's oh, his birthday. Oh, you want the baby <laughs> So we celebrate together with you, Mark. Exactly. What are you writing, what are you writing from, Mark? Okay, good. So good. Frederick I said, is this Swiss chocolate? Yeah, actually, it is. It is. It is, Frederick. <laughs> All right, chocolate from Switzerland is the best. Swiss and Belgium chocolate, I think, are the best. All right, here we go. I think we're done. Oh, you there? got a donation on YouTube from um, in from Japan. Oh my God, Japan! Arigato, arigato dashimas. Thank you, Japan. Thank you so much. Thank you for donating, guys. It really means a lot, you know. Oh, now, and and we, Beth sent four hundred stars. Oh my God, Beth, you are the biggest star. Oh, today. that's right. Mark was on last time. He's from the Gold Coast. Oh, Mark from the Gold Coast. Ciao, yes. Mark. Guys, that is the top part, Mark. Look That's at where this. we'd like to be right now. Dedicate this to your birthday, Mark. That would be <laughs> it's, nice. it's not yet. I know, but it's for, when it's your birthday, don't forget this moment, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Did you add cream to your mascarpone and eggs? No, no, Said no Asunta. cream. No Absolutely cream. not. We don't add any cream at all to our tiramisu. No cream, no cream. 
look, I've got lots of coffee left, but you know, there's nothing we can do. That's okay. We can look, make something else. No, nah, I think I just throw, throw, throw it in the bin. No, look. we can use. We can make another tiramisu oh, for yeah, another one of our neighbors. We can. So look at that. You just spread it Beautiful. nicely. Can you lift it maybe up and spread for me? Of course, I can do it Thanks. for you, darling. For you and the baby, I'll do anything. <laughs> well, it's for Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube okay. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how easy, simple this was. Beautiful. How long did it take me? Honestly, yeah, like, it doesn't take long. Hour. Yeah, it honestly, doesn't I take long. I made a wonderful long. cake. I mean, it took me time because I'm doing a live video. We're in Sydney, Mark. We're in Sydney. Oh, wow. It's Frederick's an August baby as well. Frederick's birthday on the 23rd. Uh, Leo as well. All Leo. So Leo must be good. <laughs> Thank right. you. It's beautiful to cook together from the Keller Angus Ranch in Emmett, Idaho. Oh, oh thanks, babe. Angus. Angus Ranch, the best. Angus. So look what we're doing. Oh my guys. gosh, Cindy sent 1,200 stars oh on my Facebook. Oh God, Cindy, thank you. Oh, my Facebook friends, I'm so lucky to have every single one of you. And Cindy, thank you for making us the hard day. We do need to buy things for the child, for the baby. <laughs> we need stars, trust me. We need stars, but hopefully we get back soon on track with the business. Okay, here we go. Chocolate. Do you use regular sugar or powdered sugar? I actually use white sugar. I'm a big fan of white sugar. For this but particular recipe, it's easier to use. Well, I think it comes better with just the um, like normal, normal white sugar. I yeah. like white sugar. Yeah. yeah, but you can use what you want. And now this is the top part. We need to finish it off with... Oh, Fraser sent you lots of love hearts. Thank you. Thank you for the love hearts. <laughs> Fraser. Yeah. Hello, Fraser. Thank you, my friend. Miss Ooh, you. And we've got a friend from Brazil on Instagram today, too. Brazil. Obrigado, Brazil. Muito obrigado from why for watching. Guys, chocolate. This is something I do, okay? You don't have to put chocolate. This is my version of tiramisu. Looks beautiful, actually. Looks and really nice. our tiramisu is done. Done in no time. Look. Look how beautiful this tiramisu is. Done in half an hour, in no time. So it looks coffee. really, it looks great. Yeah, look, this is a tiramisu, guys. This is a wonderful tiramisu. I'm going to give this to Filomena next door. How My, long? A friend and nonna, Filomena. I love Filomena. We've got a, so she can enjoy this. We've got a few people um, <laughs> that are putting alcohol in theirs, and it's highly okay. become highly recommended. Susanna, I forgot saying that. <laughs> Amaretto, Sambuca, Kalua. The authentic tiramisu has marsala, Sambuca, Amaretto, anything you want. Susan doesn't like alcohol in the tiramisu. And when I met Susan, she told me she doesn't like tiramisu. I did, that's true. And tiramisu is my favorite. It's my favorite. So Susan cannot say to me, I don't like tiramisu. <laughs> don't get along. Well, I love coffee, so it was so, a bit unusual, wasn't it? I sang her, I sang her a song. Susan, if you don't know me by now, <laughs> we will never be together. Oh. What? So she changed her mind. No, she I, loves tiramisu. No, now. I changed now. my mind because you made one for me. <laughs> I made one for her without alcohol. And I actually like it more without alcohol. Believe it or not, I prefer tiramisu without alcohol. Because the alcohol sometimes takes over It can over kind of take over, yeah. Yeah, I prefer much, much more without alcohol. Just give it a try, okay? Oh, Cindy, that's a good idea. Frangelico would be yummy in it. And I don't even like alcohol in it. And it would be, I actually love that. That Frangelico sounds great. Nice. Yeah, again, look, this is kids friendly. Everybody will love it. And... Trust me on this, everybody will love it. I know people out there who don't love tiramisu. It can be because of the alcohol, maybe the coffee is too strong, I don't know. Um, but try this, and I can tell you many people will like it. Oh, we have a friend dunking ladyfingers in Kalua. Kalua? Yeah. Dunking ladyfingers. Oh, you got fingers. the most gorgeous message. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I just wanted to thank you for something that truly made my day. Saying that you liked my Instagram post of my ravioli. Oh, yes. It may seem like something small, but it was a really big thing for oh, me. Oh, Lisa, you're so sweet. That's adorable. Why, Thanks, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa we love seeing everybody cooking at the moment. It's so exciting. Yeah. It's wonderful. When you guys cook something, for, something from Vincenzo's plate or anything else that you make, tag Vincenzo's plate, please. Insta stories, whatever. Tag me. I want to see. And if you're making a family recipe, please tag Vincenzo's plate on Instagram. So we can actually see what you do and I can recreate it. Let inspire each other. Exactly. I can show you Italian recipes, my family recipes, but there are many recipes I don't know. 
So please share with us. We love cooking. And Trevor said, this learning. is your easiest recipe so far. And Chris said, this is awesome. Not just the recipe, but you guys are great. From Queens in New York. Queens in New York. Hello, Queens. I've never been to New York. I've never been to Queens. But Queens attracts me very a lot. I really want to go to Queens. So guys, please, I need you to give a round of applause to mom. Can you please put a like on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook and write a comment for my mom? Yay. This book was written by my mom in 2004. <laughs> When I was 20, I moved to London, I lived in London, and I didn't know how to cook, didn't know how to clean my clothes, how to wash my clothes, and she wrote me a book. And all my recipes are there. It's so gorgeous. How to clean denim, how to wash your shirt, how to do this, how to do that. Does that say mutante? How to wash your mutante. This <laughs> <laughs> is my handies. And the Retina Miso Resley, please write on all social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Please, I need you to like it, this video and write a comment and say, thanks, mom. My mom's name is Grace. Graziella. It's Grace. Graziella. Thank you, Grace. Please do it for her. She will be very happy. And maybe send us a few little stars if you're on Facebook. We'd Please. appreciate it. Mamma, hey. questo è per te. I nostri amici ora ci guardano e scriveranno grazie, Grace, e un like. Questo è per te, mamma. Grazie a te. Oggi posso fare una buonissima... Un, posso cucinare, posso preparare... Un tiramisu buonissimo. Grazie, mamma, ti voglio bene. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, please, I just dedicate this to my mom. I just need you to like the video and write a comment for my mom, please. She Thank will love this. Shafi She's very sad because we are far away from each other. And it was no Mother's Day, Day on the weekend, weekend, yeah. And it was actually her birthday, like, two weeks ago. And we were not together. So, I think this can be a nice gift for mom. Thank you, Thank you for giving us this recipe, said Shafia. This looks very easy. From Pakistan. Pakistan. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for watching from Pakistan. Great memory from your mum. It's beautiful to thank get you. that. Oh, that's Georgette. Hi, Georgette. Hey, Georgette. I missed you on Saturday. Nice to thank you, Georgette. Bravissima, Graziella. Thanks, Grace. Can't wait thank to try you. the recipe. Please, Joe. just write a comment for my mum, please. Thank you, Grace. That's all you need to write. Oh, so thank everyone's you, saying Grace. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bless thank you. you. Guys. Thank Grazie. you. Grazie. Oh, thank you. love everyone. it so much. Simple, that, that, that simple thing. That's all I'm asking for to do it with me please it's very difficult to be away from mom especially with isolation i've only been with my wife but she did treat me well <laughs> she was very nice but my she mom is was a beautiful worried, <laughs> <laughs> she was at the beginning she is a beautiful nonna grazie and cindy said be. your mama raised an exceptional man oh wow cindy you're too nice today stars compliments thank you my wife is watching i can't say anything else <laughs> Brilliant. I missed the first step. That's mascarpone, egg yolks, and sugar. Yeah. And that's what you create, my friend. Just, I've got the recipe. That was on the AJ. Link. Please, if you go to YouTube and Facebook description, you have the link there. Please click on the link and it will take you to this recipe. Perfect. Very easy to make. I also have another recipe on Vincenzo's plate where I use five eggs. So we can make the bigger portion. Sorry, I put rubbish in there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry. I'm a bit messy today. You know, we, anyway, I make mess all the time. Five eggs if you make large pyrex. And how many tablespoons of sugar? Five. Okay. Sorry, three. Five oh, three. eggs, three <laughs> tablespoons and more coffee. Yes, Trevor, you can absolutely put amaretto in this recipe. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, guys, I hope you enjoy. I can't have it now. Sorry, the most important part. You can't eat it right now, guys. You can't. No, you can't eat it right now. Because it needs to set. Your tiramisu needs to set. So what we do, we cover the tiramisu, cover, and we set it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours. Two hours minimum. So you can make this at four o'clock and serve it for dinner. What I recommend you, if you really want to have a top quality Vincenzo's plate tiramisu, make it the day before. Because the day after, all the ingredients combine well together. My recommendation is to do it the day before. Two hours for me are not enough. Eight, eight hours for me are good. But the day after, we're talking about 20, 12, 15, 20 hours. That's what I love. I like it the day after. So much better. So in the fridge, for a minimum of two hours, Minimum of eight eight hours, okay? <laughs> so minimum of two hours, but if you want the real deal, put it in overnight. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's better. Yeah. It's, it's okay after two hours, but trust me, the day after. 
Between your recipes and quarantine, I'm guaranteed to gain 50 pounds. Thank you. Ah, you seem to look at that say, Suzanne, how much, how much have I lost? I've You've lost, lost about eight kilos, maybe? Can you guys believe it? I lost eight kilos in quarantine. Who does that? Who is that crazy person who loses eight kilos in quarantine? He's trying to show off oh. because my tummy's growing and his is going sm getting smaller. Look how skinny I am, guys. Oh, sure, Mark. Look you can... how skinny. Mark said he wants to come to Sydney and have a cook-up with us. Oh, anytime. Well, Mark. I think we'll come to the Gold Coast. It's warmer oh, yeah. there. Actually, we was there in November. Yes. Oh, yeah, we come back to Gold Coast. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you. Let's start saying goodbye to Instagram. Thank you, Instagram. We love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. YouTube, thank you so much Bye, for Insta. supporting. So that you know, uh, this recipe is coming out on Sunday. Sorry, Thursday in two days. At this time in two days, Suzanne is making gnocchi. So don't miss it. The queen of gnocchi, Suzanne, will be in the video and I'm recording the video. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're going to be no, in no, it a no, little no, bit because no. I'm I, too nervous. I'm recording. I'm going to wear pyjama so I can't come in the video. I'm going to drag you, you in so you better not. I'm going to make gnocchi, Suzanne on Thursday, so in two days at this time, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and you will love it, okay? So it doesn't take as long, I'm going to pre-prepare the potatoes though. That's right, you can make it with us. How many potatoes should they boil? Four potatoes? Um, I think we'll do a batch of four, because okay. that'll make two nice sized boil trays. Boil four potatoes and crush them and put and Joanne, them, and let Joanne's them, excited. Let them Joanne, I'm nervous. The <laughs> and then we make gnocchi together. <laughs> Suzanne the Queen is going to show you how to make gnocchi. Are we still on Instagram? No, no. Oh. So guys, Facebook and YouTube, on Sunday, I am releasing Suzanne's favorite pasta recipe made by Suzanne's mom. It's a Calabrese <laughs> recipe. It's called it's my favorite. pasta. What do you call it in dialect? Um, pasta, pasta parmigiana. Pasta parmigiana. Parmigiana pasta. Eggplant Calabrese style pasta coming out on Sunday on VincenzosPlate.com and YouTube and Facebook. Oh, thanks for the support, everyone. Don't miss it. Everyone's... But on Thursday, is Suzanne's day. For the first time ever, oh. Suzanne, online. No pressure. In the video, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, making gnocchi for you. And this can be the beginning, the beginning of a new journey for Vincenzo's Play. You're making me nervous. I want to become the cameraman and I want Suzanne to be in front of the camera. Come on, let's make it happen. Let's turn Vincenzo's plate into Vincenzo's family plate. <laughs> soon we will get the baby to cook too. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. The baby will be always next to me, cooking with me <laughs> and with you. <laughs> well, it needs to sleep sometimes. Thank you for donating, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, Thanks for watching, everyone. It was lovely to be with you. I hope you're all safe and your families are well. Yes. Love you all, and thank you, YouTube. Thank you so much. Yes, Frederick's is in its plate. Not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Frederick's still away. In Switzerland, it's 3 o'clock. So, thank you so much. Thank you, YouTube. See you on Thursday, uh, Sydney time, which is Wednesday night in America, in Canada. And thank you so much, Facebook. Thank you for donating. Thank you for supporting. And thank you for writing a comment for my mom. Again, if you didn't write, just write, thank you, Grace. If you didn't. Thanks That's everyone. Fun. Stay Thank safe. You. Love you all. Bye you YouTube. With Suzanne. Suzanne is making gnocchi for you. For you, for you. She's making gnocchi for you on Thursday.